This video is made possible by AE Rocket. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to give your videos an old VHS effect inside of After Effects using some very simple steps. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and here I have a simple video on which we will give it a nice VHS effect. So the first thing that we need to do is select the video, go into effects and presets and type in add grain. Let's drag and drop it and set the preview mode from preview to final output and increase the intensity to 1.5. Okay, then let's create a new adjustment layer. Let's call this noise. Select it, go into effects and preset and type in displacement map. Drag and drop it onto the noise. Then I'll increase the max horizontal displacement to around 20. And max vertical displacement to 100. There we go. Hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and change this to 1. So we have a very small distortion line just like so, which we can move it like that. Pretty cool. Let's move it at the top. At the very beginning, select the layer, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe. I'll go to around maybe 3 seconds and bring that down, holding shift. So we have a pretty simple line animation, just like that. And I have two footages of a flim damage and dirt animation, so I'm going to drag them both on the top, just like so, and change the blending mode to screen. There we go. For the flim damage, I'll bring down the opacity a bit. Just like that. 13% looks good. And there we have this really cool look. Then I can hit Ctrl A to select them all. Hit U to close them up. Then hit Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose them. I'll call this clips. Hit OK. Then I'll create two copies. So I'll hit Ctrl D two times. So we have three copies in total. And then I'll add an effect called set channels. For the top one, I'm going to turn off the red channel. So set this to off and the green channel to off. We just want the blue channel. Let's copy this. So hit control C, paste it onto the second layer, hit control V. For that one, I'm going to turn off the blue channel and turn off the green channel and make sure only the red channel is on. Then I can select this again, hit control C. Control V to paste that up. Make sure the blue and the red channel is off and just turn on the green channel. So we have blue, red and green. All right. Now on the first two layers, I'm going to set the blending mode to screen. And then I can select the top layer and using the arrow keys, I'm going to shift it a bit to the left, just like that. So that we get this really nice chromatic aberration. Select the second channel, move it to the right. And there we get this really nice chromatic aberration effect as you can see, which gives the really nice VHS feel to it. Now you can move them to the left and right depending on which color of chromatic aberration or glitch that you want. You can go with the green and the pink, which looks really, really cool. But I like to go with the blue and the red one. So yep, that is that. Now I'm going to create a new adjustment layer just to add a little bit of tint to this. So I'll go into effects and preset and type in tint. Drag and drop it. For the black, I'm going to keep it a nice dark brown color. And for the white, I'll keep it a nice blue color. Maybe something like that. Maybe it's a bit too much dark, maybe it's just like that. And then bring down the opacity or the amount of tin and give it a little bit of tin, maybe 20%. It helps us to give it a really nice old look to it, as you can see. There we go. And the last thing that I like to do is add some text. So I'll type in play. And by the way, I'm using the VCR OSD font. I'll provide the link to the font in the description. You can download the complete project file from the description below if you want to. Then here we have our first text. Let's hit control D. 
let's switch it up right here and we can add a date i'm gonna add my birth date maybe there we go let's adjust this a bit and bam there we have a really nice and professional looking vhs effect inside of after effects using some really simple steps so i hope you enjoyed this quick tip video and if you did if you want more and more quick tip videos then do let me know in the comment section below and i will love to create it for you guys so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to stay raw stay creative peace out